up, everyone? Welcome to another remarkable video. Today, I've got a very special guest. She's a gamer, an actress, and just like me, she loves a good snack. <laughs> Say hello to Alice. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me, Mark. I'm all set and ready to start our culinary live stream. I've gathered all the ingredients and can't wait to take this snack to school tomorrow. And on the menu, a cake with jelly topping. Yummy! Let's get started. Let's start preparing the cake. I've got the recipe from Granny. And... Oh, no! <laughs> Careful. Watch your step, Mark. We are baking. <laughs> that was funny. Not funny. I think I'll cut that part in the editing. Time to start the recipe. Combine all the ingredients in a bowl and stir until you get a homogeneous mixture. But what is a homogeneous mixture? That's the question. Do you know the answer, Mark? Of course I do, Alice. Mixtures are made up of different substances like air, which is a mix of gases and vapor. Even water is a mixture since it contains different dissolved minerals. And we also have food. They are made of different ingredients which make them mixtures too. And let's not forget that mixtures have phases, which are simply the items you can see and differentiate. Let's check an example. Just think about how this cake is made. When we combine all the ingredients and use the mixer, we can only see one thing, which is this smooth batter. So we say that the mixture only has one phase. When this happens, we have a homogeneous mixture. Exactly, Mark. Homogeneous mixtures are also called solutions. They are formed by combining a solute and a solvent. For example, when I prepare jelly, the jelly powder is the solute, which is what I want to dissolve. And the warm water is the solvent, because it dissolves the jelly powder. Alice, a chef and a scientist. All done, Mark. The cake is baked and jelly is dissolved. Now we just need to add these delicious pieces of fruit. Yes! Look! Now the jelly is no longer homogeneous because I can see the pieces of fruit too. Hmm. If it's not homogeneous, then... It's, it's a, a heterogeneous, heterogeneous mixture. mixture! When I mix different substances and can differentiate them just by looking at the mixture, it means we have a heterogeneous mixture. This happens when we mix oil with water or rice with beans, for example. Oh, what a beautiful cake, Alice. It is golden brown and the jelly and fruits are the finishing touch. So, in this mixture, we identify one, two, three phases, which means our snack has formed a heterogeneous mixture. Yes, <laughs> and to accompany it, we have this delicious juice with just one phase, because there's nothing to distinguish within it. It's the perfect solution to complement our snack. <laughs> Do you get it? A solution. It's a homogeneous solution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the audience got the reference. So that's it for today, guys. Now it's your turn to prepare your mixtures. See you in the next video. Bye.